Ooh. Ooh. Hey, Davies just finished legs. Man. Ay, ay, ay. Ooh. Ooh. This is when you want to do things with one hand. Try this again. Oh. So, like I was saying, we just finished uh, just finished legs right now, um, and uh, man, what a session we did! We did like a PR for leg presses, seven plates, boom, eight reps, three three sets. Um, but hey, let's just get straight into it. So you're getting shamed for being single for a long time. Maybe you are in your late 20s, maybe you're in your mid-30s, maybe you're even in your 40s or your 50s. And, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't put it by me to, to think in your 60s too. And the shame that you are getting is not overt. It's not people saying, hey, boom, boom, boom. It's kind of very um, passive-aggressive, right? It's, it's kind of just a jab, you know, a, a backhanded jab right there. And you're kind of sick of it right now. The purpose of this video is really to, to let you know this one thing. That it's okay to feel a little bit pissed off. But I want your attention to, to go from being pissed off to having this perspective. And I want you to pay close attention. This perspective is, if you are getting pissed off, if you are getting shamed, and if you are in a state of apathy right now, you're in a state of poor me, I need you to take this perspective. This perspective of, instead of focusing on not having someone right now, I want you to focus on what are you doing with your life? Like real talk. Like there's a couple of questions I want you to consider. What is the legacy? Number one, question number one. What is the legacy that you want to leave behind? Right? Now, this, let's park woman on the back burner for a second. What is the legacy that you want to leave behind? Number one. Number two, what is the, what is the purpose and passion that God has given you that you are currently not fulfilling or, or not pursuing? What is that passion? What is your purpose? Number two. Number three, are you okay with you like real talk look this this is going to sound very obvious right now but typically in life you and I both know it's typically the simple things that has that he's the most profoundly true so if you are not okay with you nobody else is going to be and the last thing you want is to bring someone else in a situation where you are unsatisfied. Now, when I say unsatisfied, I mean you are unsatisfied in terms of where you are in your life. You are unsatisfied, you know, when it comes to um, the position that you are in. So, for example, if you are someone right now that is, you're a young guy, you are, you know, you're on your grind. Um, you and I both know that if you are in a state where you are trying to find someone, you know that you are not going to be able to put 100% in the thing that you need to put 100% in. Now, you might say, Randall, uh, you know, what if I get someone? What if I find someone? and that person helps me on my purpose. 
that person is going to be like a backbone, like really a help meet for the vision that God has given me. Okay, that's one, that's, that's another situation all on, on its own. But even in that situation, you need to really, really be conscious of the time that you are spending on what the mission is and the time that you are spending off the mission. You see, like I always say, we are not an island. We are not meant to be on our own and live on our own and do things on our own. But at the same token, you need to be highly, highly conscious of your time allocation. Now, I'm not talking about that situation where a girl comes in and she helps you on your purpose. I'm talking about a situation where you know you're not supposed you not you know you're not where you're supposed to be. You know you're not where you are meant to be right now, and now you are using a girlfriend as a distraction. This is what I'm talking about. If I could put a pin on this point, I want you to remember this. That if you are getting shamed, if you are feeling guilty, if people is putting pressure on you for being single, I want you to know this one thing, and this one thing is, it is okay, it is totally okay to be single. Real talk, like really hear me right now. It is okay, and let nobody shame you for being single. Let nobody bring you into that frame of questioning. Hey, should I have someone right now? You see, that kind of questioning is a major, major distraction. You know what you're supposed to do. You know the mission that God has given you. You know the purpose that you are on right now. And hey, if she comes your way, she comes your way. Don't you dare go and drop your purpose, drop the work that you're supposed to do, drop your mission, and allocate now your time on chasing at the club, chasing, you know what I mean? Don't get this message twisted. I'm not saying, I am not saying um, to forget about women and not focus your energy on the opposite sex. What I'm saying is, focus solely on your mission and your purpose. If God brings her, God brings her. If she crosses your path, she crosses your path. That's number one. And number two, I want you to know that it is okay to be single. It is okay. As long as you're on your mission and your purpose, it is okay. And don't you dare be feeling shamed, you know? Don't you dare second guess. Don't you dare. Listen, hey, like we always say, know that we are here not just to survive, but we are here to thrive. You know, a part of me feels like this, this video, I need to do a part two on this because there's so much to talk about. But hey, until next time. Peace. Oh, ish. Legs, eh?